Welcome to Supernova Moon Tarot. My name is Starsha. This reading is going to be for the zodiac sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. If this is your first time, welcome to the channel. It's a pleasure to be in your energy. Cross watchers, you know you always welcome. Returning viewers, thank you so much for coming back. And subscribers, do not forget to hit that bell. Aries, for your reading, I'll be using the Manzel Tarot, the All She Wrote Tarot deck made by yours truly, along with the Healing with the Angels Oracle. Aries, let's go ahead and turn our attention to your numeric arcane message. And we have the number six. The number six is indicative of the lovers. Gemini energy. I am focusing. The lover's card represents being naked, beautiful, and drawn towards a lover. The person of your life. This is a card where the masculine energy is looking straight forward and the feminine energy is looking up towards the air angel Raphael who signifies physical and emotional well-being air is linked to thinking and talking which are crucial for good relationships Aries have you ever looked at someone and your your heart just sank right to your stomach or have you ever been just so compelled to touch someone that you have to practice restraint or you're just unable to break eye contact with this person? Well, this is an energy of your vibe and your tribe. Aries, you have met someone that is a part of your tribe. You two belong. So the lover's card asks the question, will you be there for me through the ups and the downs? Will you judge me, hurt me? What if I take off my mask? Will you then be there? So the lover's card represents a state of vulnerability, Aries, and this is your current energy. Experiencing this card really, it, it inspires artists and poets uh, musicians, the greats. The lover's energy is about attraction and esteem, intimacy and romance, especially confidence. It's it's rearranging your life, okay, um, to center around the people and things that you love the most. This card is about love, trust, fate, and forever. So Aries, this is your numeric arcane message. Now let's turn our attention to your spirit messages. And we have blood ritual. We also have taste and inhale me from the rear. We have let's practice tantric intimacy. We also have finish on my chest, choke me. And we have, there is someone in my life that does not want to see us together. Aries, these are your spirit messages. Wow, this energy is very strong. Let's go ahead and take a look at your primary energy between you and your person, the lovers. For your primary energy, we have the King of Wands. The King of Wands is indicative of fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This energy is dominant, good-hearted, old-fashioned, often married, very straightforward and honest, and not afraid to lead. The King of Wands can listen and advise. He's friendly and conscientious. So 
this energy is very powerful. It's very strong. It's giving, I know what I want because it's being clarified by the 10 of pentacles. The 10 of pentacles is an earth energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and it depicts a man and a woman beneath an arcway, which gives entrance to a house and a domain. So this King of Wands energy is coming through, understanding that they want the Ten of Pentacles with this lover's energy. You, whether you are this masculine energy or the feminine energy, understand that there are two people that are connected to one another. And what's very interesting to me is that this King of Wands energy is coming up divorced or separated here. Okay, because we have the marriage card also clarifying this King of Wands energy and this Ten of Pentacles energy. So this masculine understands that he wants to be married again, or he wants to establish some sort of household here. He wants to establish some sort of wealth where he can leave legacy to children. Okay, children are depicted multiple times in this reading. Okay. So again, this masculine energy is envisioning this 10 of pentacles. He's moving towards this 10 of, 10 of pentacles, having a family, having stability, gains, fortune, etc. He is divorced with the married card in reverse. He is single because we have the single energy being represented here as well. And it's being paired with silent treatment. So what's coming out to me is that there's someone that you are not speaking to Aries, or maybe some of you are dealing with an Aries. But there has been a lack of communication in regards to the vision that this this fire sign has for his lover. OK, this person is divorced or is separated from someone in the past. Now, this is what the lover's energy for your reading is indicative of. OK, we're talking about two people here that may be new to one another. This could be a fairly new relationship. It could be six months. You could have known this person six weeks, um, six years for some of you, somewhere in between one to six years. OK, one to six months, one to six weeks. This could be new or this could be something that you put, you know, you've, you've put some time in, but time is an illusion, right? Um, here today, gone tomorrow type energy, right? So either way, you're in this person's energy, okay? And you all are in this lover's energy, but there hasn't been communication about the coming together, the final, the final, finalization, <laughs> okay, of something, excuse me. There's just been this this delay in, 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 in this masculine being able to express his feelings. So uh, what this is about here is this blood ritual and this tantric intimacy that this person is fantasizing about having with you. They feel that your intimacy is magical. They have never felt someone like you before. Okay, you have something very special with inside of you. Okay, and when you two come together, this person feels healed. Um, it's giving Marvin Gaye sexual energy. So there's there's a lot of sexual energy here. Um, there's a lot of sacral chakra energy and um, very powerful manifestations and desires here. Um, it's it's in in this blood rituals. A spirit message in this let's practice tantric intimacy there's really um it's almost as if coming together with you is going to fulfill some business some serious business this person really wants to be wealthy this person really wants to leave a legacy and make a name all right so you're dealing with a masculine energy who feels that they have a purpose and their purpose is family and they're envisioning you in it okay they're envisioning you in it and they're envisioning you know creating with you especially on an intimate level um this person feels that the blood is powerful so they're willing to sleep with you um as you are cleansing your womb they feel like this is a powerful ritual um, that you all, and, and I'm just being very transparent with you. This is a very spiritual person. And I say that because he's being clarified here by the King of Cups. So this person is very 
uh, spiritual. They practice, they could practice law. Um, they could be into divinatory practices. Um, they are in love with science here for, for some of them. Um, but they are definitely very passionate about gains. Okay. Um, they're very passionate about their spirituality and they want to, you know, create a life of, of, of pleasure and ecstasy here. And that's being clarified by the 10 of cups energy. And, uh, it's also check this out being clarified by spiritual bondage in reverse. So whatever insecurities that you have about your body, whatever ailments you have within your body, this person really feels that he can heal you or she can heal you and, and, and that they can take you to a level of ecstasy that can actually be very powerful in the lives for both of you. And they really have a desire for you to just release, to be free and to just let go and for you to, you know, trust them, trust them. They want you to trust them. They want you to trust them so much that you give yourself to them completely without holding back is how this person feels. <clears throat> and I want to just kind of take a, you know, take a breath here because, um, you have to ask yourself, you know, is this a good thing? Is it, is this a bad thing? Because I feel for the feminine energy, it takes a lot. It takes, you know, trust to really give yourself fully to someone like that. So I'm definitely feeling on the feminine energy here that there's a, there's a pulling back a little bit here. There's, there's a guard up here and there's a guard up for, for a reason. But, you know, before I get into the feminine energy, you know, just still looking at this primary masculine energy, he's coming up. This is one masculine coming up as the king of wands and the king of cups. So, you know, that's a lot of masculine energy energetically going towards this feminine energy in this lover's couple. But this person is coming out of some sort of marriage or contracts here. Uh, but uh, they, they want to create a healthy relationship here because we have the karmic connection in reverse. So to me, it seems like you've gone through a cycle with this person or several cycles with this person. And there were some really hard lessons that you had to learn. And some of those consequences could have affected you emotionally, mentally, or physically. And you had to learn from that, right? Because it's coming, it's coming up as a karmic connection in reverse. Well, it seems as if this person has, has learned They've received the lesson. They understand. They understand why you're in their life. Um, one second, let me pause. As I was saying, they understand why you are a part of their life. And we also have the don't listen to what people say energy here in reverse with the all she wrote tarot. Um, and this person is listening now. This person is possibly listening to you or listening to their higher self here, um, or they're listening to, you know, just their true nature when it comes to how they really feel about you. And that is being clarified here with your all I ever think about. So it's like coming to your senses, coming to the reality of the fact. Okay. The matter of fact here. Um, and speaking of the matter of fact, the, the karmic nose is in reverse. So again, we mentioned earlier in your primary energy that um, we're talking about someone who is possibly separated, divorced. Um, they may have some connections here to a family in the past as well. Children could be involved. Well, you know, we have the karmic nose in reverse. So again, there's there's been a silencing about this relationship, um, silent treatment possibly between the two of you, a silent treatment in, in regards to what this masculine wants to share with you about their desires and, and how they want you in their lives and et cetera. Um, there may be, you know, this may be a secret relationship and it's not public, but this person desires that. They don't want to hide you. You are something that they value. Okay. So let's go ahead now. I had to take a pause, but I'm just going to go ahead and dive right now into the recent past here. So as we look at the recent past, we have the page of pentacles energy here. 
The Page of Pentacles, again, is giving earth energy. Now, the page is youthful. The page is young. Therefore, it can be represented by children. All right. Um, but the page is also a messenger. Okay. So your person or you, Aries, could possibly be receiving some messages here. All right. Um, maybe possibly about a child or these just could be some general messages here. So the page of pentacles is generally represented by someone who also studies here or someone who is a student of something. So you've got a message from someone who's really been um, strategizing their approach towards you. Um, this could be for financial purposes. This could be for economical reasons. <clears throat> excuse me, whatever this message is about, but we're talking about the economy, then we're talking about family here. So we're talking about family matters. And what's interesting is that these messages, okay, they are attached by the devil in reverse, okay? So they're being attached to this devil energy in reverse. So these messages are rooted in the devil in reverse. The devil in reverse is indicative of an evil fatality, weakness, pettiness, blindness. So there's an air of petty. Okay. There's an air of someone who is weak, who is, you know, doing things from a weak space, evil fatality here. So someone doesn't have the best intentions here as they approach this masculine with some sort of message here. Now, um, this is in regards to the heart chakra. So these are messages of love. So it sounds like whoever this person is separated from, their person from the past has not energetically separated from them because there's a lot of heartbreak here. There's a lot of conflict when it comes to the matters of the heart. This person could have been dealing with a twin flame energy because that is being clarified here with the clean, um, the twin flame card <laughs> in reverse. And it's also being clarified by heartbreak. So because I'm so passionate right now, as I share with you this energy of the recent past and, and what's going on between you two, this just, there's a lot of passion here as well. Um, there's a lot of time spent. There's a lot of energy. There's a lot of anger and heartbreak here and conflict. So this is attached to this, this King of Wands energy we're talking about here. And so this, this may be why this lover's energy, whoever the feminine is in the lover's energy is giving divine feminine energy. So if divine feminine, you know, you're probably in separation or you are, you haven't been told, um, you know, exactly how truly deeply this masculine feels about you and his plans that he has for you. Maybe you're unaware of this, but it seems as if the silent treatment is somewhat of a, a divine intervention, because as we're in the recent past, we're looking at possible what text messages here from an ex to your person or phone calls here uh, from your ex to, to, to your person. They could possibly still live together, but still be separated under the same roof. I see children here. As I shared with you earlier in the reading, I see children throughout this entire reading where this is just a fantasy that this person has for the both of you for the future, or maybe this person does have children with this past person. So, you know, we're here in this recent past and this page of pentacles, which is the messenger, this devil energy, you could be dealing with a Capricorn is being clarified by the fool. Let me take a drink. And that's perfect timing because give me a second. That's perfect timing for the fool to come up as I take a drink because the fool talks about, you know, mania extravagance, intoxication, okay, delirium, friends, frenzy, bereavement, which is, you know, betrayal, rivalry. Okay, so in this deck, that's the definition of the fool. And this is who this third party is being represented as they're being very manic at this time, very over the top at this time. 
Okay, when it comes to this masculine energy and this lover's energy with the divine feminine. So the fool is being clarified by the queen of cups. So we have water energy here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Okay, so this water energy, this queen of cups in reverse is very emotionally unstable. And as we look here at, you know, what the queen of cups represents, it's, it's someone that's not to be trusted here, a perverse woman, vice, okay, dishonor, depravity. So this person, this feminine energy um, is, is, is a part of a polyamorous connection. There's the divine feminine, um, there's this masculine energy, and then there's a feminine from the past potentially a karmic energy here because again there's a lot of rage here now we have polyamorous connection again we have conflict and now i asked spirit you know what is this queen of cups energy towards the feminine energy or the feminine aries energy here whoever the divine feminine energy is this karmic feminine energy okay this upset feminine energy here She's upset because she's been rejected for you. So she's resorted to love spells. And I pulled from the spirit deck to see, you know, give me some specifics about this queen of cups. What is her energy towards this, this connection here or this, this desire that this masculine has for this divine feminine feminine. I feel that this, well, the cards say that this karmic energy doesn't know. OK, but maybe she feels because she's resorting to love spells here. So maybe the karmic third party, maybe this ex partner here um, doesn't necessarily know who the divine feminine is or the other woman is. But she can feel so she's resorting to sp love spells and unhealthy habits to keep this masculine energy stuck and tied and bound to her. OK. And so this is why there's been a separation here. There's been a longing here from this masculine energy for this divine feminine energy. But this person still has ties. All right. They still have ties. But the primary energy is that they they're moving away from that. They're doing what they can to move away from it because they want to manifest with you. They fantasize about you and they fantasize about you no matter whether you are, you know, cleansing your, your womb or not. They prefer when you are cleansing for some of these masculines. If you understand what I'm saying, this is what this is. about. It's like to be at this place spiritually to desire that that's that's really deep. <laughs> you know? I mean, this person is even fantasizing about this. So, you know, um, there's something about that lover's energy. There's something unexplainable. And that's what goes back to the beginning when I was saying, you know, do you know why, you know, sometimes you just lock eyes with someone and you just can't stop staring or, you know, it's like who I know you like I can I just be inside of you and literally like, 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 you know, in the movie, the Coneheads, how all they did was sit Indian style and they touched one another with their fingers and the, and the tips of their cones. And it was just like, it's, it's that it's more than just the physical here. There's, there's power behind this practice. And this person wants to practice this with you, whether you know this or not. All right. So, um, let's go ahead and take a look at the outcome because I want to keep it, you know, short, simple, sweet, to the point. Um, and let's see, you know, how we're going to wrap this up for you, okay? So, Aries, I'm looking at the outcome of your reading. And we have the hanged man energy in reverse. Piscean energy, we have the chariot in reverse and we have the five of cups 
in reverse. So we've got some big water energy here. So very emotional and very spiritual energy. So the five of cups um, is indicative of news or alliances, affinity, you know, spontaneity, um, you know, a natural liking to something or having sympathy for um, someone or consanguine so consanguinity, excuse me, consanguinity is the fact of being descendants from the same ancestor. So ancestry, you know, being kindred spirits or, or kindred um, um, nature here. Um, we also have false projects. So I'm getting again that this person is is looking at the situation and and at in their perspective and um, the hangman in reverse is really, you know, it's a selfish uh, viewpoint here. Um, it's it's the energy of the crowd. And, and when you think about the crowd, um, they see things from their perspective. It could be different opinions. Uh, some may be uh, pretty valid opinions and some may not be, you know, um, the most progressive opinions. But at the end of the day, um, it doesn't matter. So this person is, you know, kind of looking at the situation and in their eyes and, and they know what they want here. And so I feel that this person, this masculine energy, if you're the masculine Aries, that you're, you're, you've made your decision as to what you want to do with this past relationship here. But as we move forward into, you know, again, the conclusion of the reading, um, I just have Aries in this uh, state of being here. And, you know, the chariot in reverse is indicative of riot, quarrel, dispute, litigation, defeat. So, you know, there could be some uh, legalities going on here. There could be some disputes, arguments back and forth. Maybe this hasn't happened yet. Maybe this is something that's to come. But I still feel that this is an energy from the past. I feel like whoever the masculine energy is in this situation is still um, dealing with um, the economics with this past person. And this may be something that um, is going to have to be with them as they move forward into something new, potentially with a divine feminine energy. Um, because we have this masculine energy with uh, self-love in reverse, false mask in reverse. So there's been a revealing of the truth that there's been a lack of self-love. Maybe this masculine energy is reflecting upon some of the decisions that they made. Some they have no regrets on, but they realize that they can improve on the area of self-love and, and, and really, you know, making better decisions moving forward and, and walking in more of an authentic nature. And what I see here is that Truly, deeply, they want a monogamous connection. And we have that here being clarified. Um, we also have conception here. And we also have antisocial. So this masculine energy may want to create a brand new family. Um, they really do have a positive look on monogamy. And that is with the divine feminine. Again, going back to that lover's energy, there's something about this that comes once, maybe twice in a lifetime. If that, if you're lucky, right? Um, so this person person really wants this connection. Um, they actually um, have changed their perspective here took a second look about, you know, how they feel about monogamy and maybe the ways that they behaved and how they want to make changes moving forward. And they think about birth and business and really, again, going back to that primary blood ritual energy, tantric intimacy energy, this person really feels that they can manifest with you. But this is all again, being clarified by antisocial. They have not conveyed this message. Now, how you see yourself, divine feminine energy is in the energy of new beginnings. Now, how this masculine sees you, they see you in the energy of water. They see you in the energy of spirit healing. Okay. Being a healer, um, being a creator. They see you in a feminine state here. Okay. So they see you in their S in your essence. It's giving empress energy. But what I see here is that this, this empress energy, this water energy, this inspirational energy of the divine feminine is being clarified by I'm done. 
Okay. I'm done here. There's some envy. Okay. There's some envy beneath all of this. And I believe that there's a lack of trust. We touched on trust in the beginning of your reading. And I feel that the divine feminine again is guarded. All right. I feel that she's guarded because there's a lack of trust in all this masculine wants you to do is energetically and spiritually fall in their arms, but they feel that you have a wall up and they feel that you're done with them. Now, when the hopes and fears sector for the divine feminine energy or masculine take what resonates is red flag. You see this masculine, this king of wands who encompasses this king of uh, cups energy, who, who wants to get very intimate with you, divine feminine, you see this person as a red flag here. You see this person as a red flag. So in the outcome position, we have the air energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have a, a you know resistance to change. So you'll be getting some communication that this person is wanting to make some sort of change. But we have unconditional love in reverse. We have public relationship in reverse. And we have heightened intuition in reverse. So, you know, public relationship in reverse again, it, there's, there's, there's an air of secrecy still to this connection. There are, you know, different, uh, blockages and boundaries. And, um, there are certain rules and regulations and ways that this relationship would go about if it were to come in fruition. It's still not giving that freedom, um, that I feel that you both intuitively, um, and deeply seek. Um, there's a feeling of being trapped. Okay. Um, maybe on both ends here, maybe on both ends, but, um, it seems like an ongoing saga here because, um, what I'm getting is that this person sees you in the energy of the six of cups. The six of cups energy is, you know, memories from old and from new past times. Okay. Um, it's, it's reflecting on childhood. So maybe you all knew each other from childhood or it just feels, you feel so familiar, like you've had past lives with one another. Um, so this, this masculine energy feels happiness with you, um, joy with you. Um, and it just, you just bring back that good feeling, that feeling from the past, you know, those good old days, it's just, you know, the simplicity of things, you know, the first time you ever had a crush or the first time you ever had that, you know, intimate kiss with someone that you really like, or the first time you wrote a note or, you know, wrote in your journal about your first crush. It's just giving old school, genuine, true, you know, love and something that's powerful, something that's missing. Okay. So it's like, you're the missing key to this person is what I'm picking up. Um, but you know, talk is cheap for divine feminine. You know, it's about, you know, putting in that work and, you know, um, showing, improving, and I think that's where the lack comes from. And there's a, been a lack of trust and a lack of consistency is what I'm getting as well. So let's go ahead and see, you know, um, what the spirit advice card is all together here. We have surrender and release and freedom. We just talked about that. Exactly. Let's read, um, surrender and release. There's a desire to be free on all parties involved. I mean, when it comes to the karmic energy, you know, there is an energy of her holding on and, tat and, and attaching to this masculine energy. But again, spirit is telling everyone in this situation to surrender and release and, and free yourself, free yourself from these circumstances, these chains. Um, you know, there is a contract in, in the lover's card and it is being ordained by, by this, this entity here. So this is a spiritual co contract of some sort. So in some sort of way, maybe you feel bound. There's an energy of feel, feeling bound, whether this masculine feels bound to his past, whether the, um, you know, divine feminine feels as if her and her masculine can't be free because they're still, you know, bondages of the past and, it's just a lot of bondage here. So again, you know, the masculine wants the divine feminine to be free, to feel free with him, um, to feel free to love them and to trust them and to feel free intimately when you are, you know, in the bedroom together. That's their fantasy for the divine feminine. So let's go ahead and read um, Surrender and Release. So 
surrender and release, let go and allow God and the angels to help you. Everything that you realize will either be replaced by something better or will be returned to you healed. When you hold on tightly to a part of your life that's not working, it has no room to heal, whether you're unhappy with your love life, finances, career, home, or health. This card asks you to let go. If you hold on to these aspects of your life because of fear, such as what if I can't find someone or something better, then the situation will only worsen. However, if you're willing to open your hands and allow the situation to be freed, one of two situations will occur. Either it'll be washed away from you and replaced by a better situation or the situation will heal in a miraculous way. By drawing this card, the angels ask you to try not to control the outcome of your troubling situation. Just let go and let God help you. And that's also in regards to finances as well as what I'm picking up. Um, there's definitely the pentacle present in the reading. So that has everything to do with the tangible 3D stability, finances, things of that nature. So um, there is great energy coming in as soon as you surrender and release. And let's read what freedom has to say as well. Let's see. So freedom, the angels guide you to freely express your true thoughts and feelings with love. This is good especially to the divine masculine or the masculine energy in this reading, but to all as well. So it says you may feel trapped right now by life circumstances or conditions. By drawing this card, the angels ask you to realize that you are the only jail keeper that ever surfaces in your own life. Whenever you realize that you have the power to be free, freedom follows. Everything that you do in your life is by choice and you are free to choose again. Even prisoners are free to choose their thoughts so that they feel peace and happiness under any conditions. The next time you begin a sentence with the words, I have to, please stop. Ask God and the angels to show you some alternatives. They will either help you complete the task from a loving mindset so that you don't feel trapped, or they will guide you to do something else that you will love. So very interesting. Surrender and release and freedom is literally the spirit message. You know, the main, I, the main thing, because it's just giving, you know, this person is, is just very, you know, aroused by you sensually. And, uh, I, you know, sometimes, it, you know, is that just the only thing that's taking over here? <laughs> You know, um, but I feel that there's some depth to how this masculine feels about the divine feminine, which is why, you know, that was also present. So I think, you know, just take it a day at a time and continue to practice surrender and releasing and focusing on self-love. So Aries, it's been a pleasure to be in your energy. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I will be tapping in very soon. Also, self-love is, you know, taking care of those loved ones. The lover's energy is also the card of taking care and loving things and people that are most close to you. So this is family, children, etc. So continue to practice that self-love as well. You love yourself, you love your children, you love your family. And um, I will definitely um, look forward to tapping into your energy again soon. Be well, be sweet. Thanks for watching and donating to the channel. Love, Starsha.